One of the biggest complaints that Galaxy Z Fold users have when they either switch to other folding phones or they maybe just look at switching to other folding phones is that these other devices don't have the ability to have independent layouts on the cover display and on that inner screen. Whether it is my Oppo Find N5, it is my OnePlus Open, it is my Pixel Folds, they have the same layout. The cover display, those two pages you have on your cover display that you can scroll between are just going to be mirrored on the inner screen. Now, I am not bothered by this. It's actually my preferred way for this to work, but I get why some people would want totally different layouts. Your cover display and your inner screen might be used for totally different things, and so it might make sense to have different layouts. Today we're going to be looking at a launcher called Smart Launcher, and they just posted this blog post about a week ago titled Independent Layouts for Android Foldables with Smart Launcher. So what this is, is this is a third-party launcher that is actually quite popular, and they have officially rolled this feature out. I actually talked about this several months back when this was in beta. It is now in the stable channel. You can just go to the Play Store and install it, and it's going to work. So we're going to look at my Oppo Find N5 and my Pixel 9 Pro Fold and just quickly see how well this is working. All right, so over here on my Oppo Find N5, I've already installed it and I've already set it as the default launcher over here on my Pixel 9 Pro Fold. We'll quickly go through this setup process. It's very, very straightforward, but we'll kind of show it just so that you can see this happening. Let's click on Get Started. We have some different options here, calendar, weather, notifications. Let's agree to the uh, terms of service and we're going to give it permission for those things we just talked about. Now, there is a premium subscription. We're not going to do that. We're just going to click on the X up there in the corner and welcome home, set default launcher, and we are good to go. Now, you saw the taskbar down there for just a brief moment. That is exactly kind of one of the concerns that we're going to have to talk about here. So, of course, like any launcher, you have some widgets and you can remove them just like that by long pressing and removing these things. Now, it is interesting that the way this has lined up does look different than this. This looks like I'm actually looking at two different pages. If we jump into our settings and we go all the way down to the bottom, multi-display settings, you can actually change it, use the same setup everywhere or use independent setups. And as you can see, we are set to independent setup. So here's what I need to do. On my Oppo Find N5, let's close it. What do we get here? Okay, so that is actually, I'm going to, I'm going to bet, set to the old way of doing this. Multi-display setup, it is. Use the same setup everywhere, so let's turn that on. And now when we go home, we're going to have this setup, and then whenever I open it up, there we go. Now I'm going to have what we just had on the Pixel. And from there, you can do pretty normal things, right? You can, like I said, remove widgets, but you can also add widgets, add folders. It's a very, very feature-complete launcher, but it does have this smart search option in here, which is kind of one of its biggest features. You can see here, if I search for you, you're going to get YouTube, you're going to get a setting, you're going to get a shortcut, you're basically going to get this universal search. It's going to be looking through your files, the web, the Play Store. That's kind of, like I said, one of the biggest features of this launcher. But you also have this custom feed over here to the left, where it's basically an RSS reader, which is pretty cool. So you can pull down the technology section here and let's say that I wanna have these sources in there. And now whenever I go back, it's just gonna show me in this really nice, you know, clean looking layout, all of this different news. It's very similar to Google's feed, but it's much more directly customizable because you're just picking the sites that you like. Of course, a swipe up is going to get you to your app drawer where you can launch things just fine. A swipe down gets you into that smart search. But like I said, we need to check on that taskbar because on these devices, that's a big part of what makes these devices function. So we'll just open up YouTube Music and do our little partial swipe up on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. We do get our taskbar, and let's see how well this is actually working. We can drag an app over and be into split screen. That's working just fine. Perfect. Over here on the Find N5, I can't seem to get that taskbar to pop up. And if I go into my settings, show taskbar in apps is actually like grayed out. I can't even switch it away uh, or to the permanent, the persistent style. I wonder if I jump into my apps. 
and then change my launcher back to the system launcher. If I'm able to then jump into my settings again and go to taskbar and change this to the fixed at bottom, and then let's go back to smart launcher and the taskbar is gone. So on this device, the taskbar is just not gonna be an option. You can still use your smart sidebar. So maybe go in here and pin your apps in here. But of course, there's one big problem with this. I think with this smart sidebar on the Find N5, if I try to launch an app from it, it's just gonna launch it in a floating window. I don't even think you can drag it in. I think it's gonna just put it in a split view. Yeah, that's kind of for multitasking specifically, so you can't launch apps directly with it, but I guess you could still do some multitasking with it. So let's go to YouTube Music. Let's go in with the smart sidebar, and let's say we wanna multitask this with threads just the same way. We'll grab threads and we'll drag it in. So you can get around it that way. You're just not gonna be able to use this taskbar. You're gonna to have to use the smart sidebar. Now, of course, on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, you do have one small issue there. If you want to actually customize your taskbar, you can't do it in this launcher. You're gonna to have to jump into your settings, come down here to apps and then default apps and change back to the pixel launcher and then change these icons because that is your taskbar. You're gonna to have to customize it here and then go back to the smart launcher and set it back to your default and then you're gonna have your taskbar the way that you set it up. You may also notice that there's a little bit of some like hesitancy with this launcher. Like we don't have any icons for a second. They kind of have to like fade back in. And I've definitely seen a little bit of maybe you would say just some like stutters. Yeah, look how long that is blank there. That is a long time to have no icons on your screen. So that's a little bit of a weird thing as well. I do want to quickly point out that Octopi Launcher is also an option for doing this as well. This team, I think it's actually just one person that's working on this launcher. They've recently put it in the Play Store in an open beta. So you could just go install it now. It's much, much easier to install. And it does a very, very similar thing. In fact, it is very similar in a lot of ways. If you look at my Oppo Find and 5, this is Octopi Launcher. You can see that it's you know got a lot of the same issues. So first off, that very long delay going home is also there and the taskbar does not seem like it wants to pop up either but I would say that you know it's worth checking out because there's a lot of really good customization that you can do with Octopi Launcher as well. I like some of these ideas. Favorite apps up at the top. You can resize individual icons. That's definitely pretty cool. There's just a lot of really interesting customization here with Octopi Launcher. So guys, more so now than ever, we have options. If you have one of these folding phones and you want independent layouts, you can do that. Smart Launcher and Octopi Launcher are both there. I think Smart Launcher is probably a bit more polished just because it's been around longer and it's a really well-known launcher and you're probably much more familiar with it. That's kind of what the focus of this video was. But like I said, there are other options. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know how big of a deal this is for you. Which launcher are you using? Have you stuck with the default launcher because of the issues I've talked about? Again, let me know in those comments down below. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.